Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the stream. I know we missed last week, but I'm excited to get back into some Undertale Pacifist run. I'm actually not sure how much we have left right now. I think we had, uh, we ended, oh, where was it? We just finished beating Metaton. So I'm, I'm curious to see what we have upcoming. Um, I did want to mention last week, I really wasn't feeling streaming. That's why uh, I didn't end up streaming last week. It was very busy. Um, last weekend was actually my uh, anniversary weekend with my wife. So we kind of took some days off work. We kind of just caught up on a couple errands. And after doing all that, we also did some uh, visiting of family. After all of that, you know, it's it's very, very exhausting. So we didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to go and stream while I was like tired. Because, you know, if, if I'm tired, you guys might not enjoy it if I'm not enjoying it. And, you know, it's no fun for anybody at that point. Um, but yeah, besides that, it's just been trying to catch up on, uh, like my week's been pretty busy. It's like I've been catching up on work stuff. And I've also been trying to get more into recording videos on YouTube. I know it's been quite a while since I've like output videos. Even the Cuphead video that was out originally was one that was like, uh, I recorded it months in advance and then I still took months to output it. And that was mostly just because of everything going on. So hopefully I can start getting into more video uploads. Um, I'm going to try to get through some game recommendations through videos as well as streams. This way um, I can kind of pick and choose which one makes good streams, which ones will make better videos. But that's enough about me. I want to actually jump into some Undertale. I'm very excited. Um, let me just start her up here. Hopefully we don't have any issues with starting it up. I don't think we will. We've kind of done it a couple times now. There we go. And I'm just going to switch my controls up here so we can get back in. All right, I think I can just skip this. Awesome. OK, so this is where we were. Um, OK, my, my keys did not switch. There we go. So this is where we were last. This is Castle Elevator. I don't know what's coming up next. I don't know if we're almost done this game. Um, if we finish the pacifist run today, I was thinking about also starting the genocide run. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, okay, the elevator is in use. What? Or wait, it's not working? <laughs> it Wait, it was in use and now it's just broken out of nowhere? What? <laughs> that was fast. This is like an... We're still underground, right? So this is kind of like a huge underground city that we're seeing right now. I'm wondering when you do a genocide route, will this city look like kind of like apocalyptic on fire and stuff? Maybe. That'd be cool. Ooh, more, more stuff. This is, this is weird. <laughs> Just a long path of like buildings right now. Okay, I'm actually take my sweater off because it normally gets hot in here when I'm when I'm gaming because I have all the doors closed. Um, what is? Wait, so there's a save point and then we're just in another save point here. New home. What? I didn't know there's a second home here. Okay, I already did that. So let's let's go check this out. This looks like the same home that we we saw at the beginning, right? Is this just not colorful? Oh wait, it does. It is the same home. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. Okay, so there's two keys. I saw the word howdy. <laughs> this is flowey. It's a golden flower. I don't actually remember like any of the lower round flowy so i'm assuming we have to go both sides here Ooh, there's more flower there's a lot of flowers here golden flower there's a golden flower everywhere interesting okay Ooh, there's two gifts here there's a heart-shaped locket inside the box will you take it Ooh, if i take it does it do anything like do Let's leave it for a second. What's in this one? 
There's a worn dagger. Will you take it? Uh, okay, let's first take this because this would be the one I'd want. Like my my main preference here, but we'll see. You got the heart shaped locket. Can I get both? Can I be greedy? What is okay? There's a worn dagger inside the box. Sure, let's take this as well. I don't think that will like ruin our pacifist route if we just take items. Heart locket gives you defense 15 and says best friends forever on it. And then the worn dagger is a weapon at 15. Perfect for cutting plants and vines. So we're not going to be equipping that there. We have 11 defense right now. Okay, so I think we should equip this. Still think the Temi armor is the best in the game, which we haven't got because I didn't sit there trying to like farm it before, but room under renovations. Oh, that's the same same room as the last time. What? There's enemies in here? A long time ago, a human fell in the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Oh, I, I tabbed off. My, my bad. Um, did I miss something? <laughs> it tabbed out. <laughs> okay. It's a trophy. Number one, Nose Nuzzle Champs, 98. What? I hope my chat's working. I don't see anything in chat right now, which is possible no one's here yet, but... The bureau? There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Just in case, I'm going to open up my stream on another tab just to make sure. We're all good. We're all good. Okay. Was there anything else in here that I missed? Asgore's journal. All the current page says is nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. So Asgore is here. It's just a chair. <laughs> just a chair. King size bed. Lamp. Clothes drawer. There are robes, button up shirts, and a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. I already read this, so I don't know why. Okay, so this is like us getting a little bit of background on Asgore right now. Take the key, put it on your phone's keychain. How convenient. Okay, there's more. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Well, this is where we're getting some more lore, I think, on the... F I don't think this is us. It's like there's the humans before us, because there's been multiple, right? Because they've collected multiple souls. So it's a human that was here before us. Golden flower. Over time... Azriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Okay, so what happened? Wait, should I be looking at stuff all over? There's flowers everywhere, so I'm feeling like the lore is trying to state that maybe this first child that fell was flowy and betrayed them somehow. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. Is that all the same thing if I just click it again? Yep. Okay, what else is here? It's a trash can. It's full of crumbled up recipes for butterscotch pie. <laughs> the stovetop is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. Yum. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Ew. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. I've never actually had snails before. I don't know how they taste. Um, hopefully I'm not missing anything. I didn't check this. The coals are still warm. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone used, used it? Uses it? You unlock the chain. Okay. There's an old calendar from the end of 201X. A date is circled on it. Probably the date. Wait, the current date? Or just a date? Then, 
One day, the human became very ill. Okay. Oh no, it's Vegetoids! The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. I feel like there's some flowy lore going on here. The next day... The next day... The human died. That's unfortunate. Azrael, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. Oh, is that where Fa Flowey came from? With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Oh, is this how the whole war started? Or is this how we got like they like got locked into the underground? The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with a blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But he didn't, did he? But Azriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azriel smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. Wait, they lost two children? I feel like I just blanked and lost, like missed a point here, but... The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go, will give us hope, and will save us all. Okay, so we're learning that the humans kind of acted out of like Wait, you should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? So it's like Asgore was just kind of like in, or no, was it Asriel was in the wrong place at the wrong time? Or was it Asgore? And basically, they the humans just assumed that the monsters killed them. You're going to be free. Me? Wait, what's down here, though? Let me check what's... Is this just to go to the other side? Ah, so if we want to go back... I don't know. Let's save. This, like, part looks familiar to me. I feel like this is where we see... Sands? Ooh. Intense. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together. You will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's XP? It's an acronym, or EXP. That stands for Execution Points. 
a way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill something, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Or L-O-V-E. L-O-V-E, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. Wait, what? A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. <laughs> of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive, just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. <laughs> Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Now he's just gone. So now we fight Asgore. What does this say? Throne room. What's over here? What? Where am I going? What? It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Draco, it's empty. Um, okay. I can't go check out any of the other ones, but apparently... Oh, wait, is there seven? I can only see five. But we need... Was it seven or six hearts? Or souls, I guess that was needed. So they want to put my soul in the red one. Oh, that's why our heart's red when we, like, fight and stuff. Well, most of the time. Oh... Oh, typical gamer, you just got Celeste? How are you doing with it? We're, we're at Asgore now, so things are getting quite close to the end, I think. I also just finished Farewell. Uh, is that a level in Celeste? <laughs> I, I don't remember any of the level names. Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. It almost looked like he was just peeing on them, if I'm being honest. Howdy. How can I. What? Oh. You beat every B-side, C-side in Chapter 9? Wow. <laughs> you got way more determination than me. <laughs> I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. Do I? I feel like I'm still learning. He totally peed on those flowers though, right? Like, nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what? We must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. I did say determination. <laughs> you got the pun, didn't ya? You are more determined. I'm hoping we can finish up the pacifist run today and maybe we can start genocide routes. We will see how that goes.
if we can get that far. I actually don't know how much is left of the game, so we'll see. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Hmm? Was there anything I missed in this room? Like, it's a throne. It's a chair. <laughs> Another throne covered in a white sheet. It's the old throne they threw out. We didn't want that one anymore. Save the potato, hello! Welcome to the stream! Are you ready? If you are, if you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Oh my gosh, it's- this is the first battle I'm doing when I've- like, I haven't played in two weeks. This is going to be horrible, isn't it? Whoa. Trippy. This is the barrier. This is what keeps all us trapped underground. Or us all. Why did I say all us? <laughs> if... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Okay, here's the question. If I continue, does that mean I can't go and do like anything else in the game? But I think like the only thing I would need to do is buy that Temi armor, which I think I'm fine if I just continue. I think we're just going to continue. I just want to see if we can finish this, uh, this playthrough today. I see. This is it then. Oh gosh, what's going to happen? Ready? Yeah, continue goes and starts the end. Okay, I want. I basically want to finish anyways. I don't think there's much I want to go back and do, so let's just go for it. Twilight is shining through something. <laughs> it seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Thank you so much for answering any questions. Save the potato. Yeah, this is my first playthrough. I know I've seen this game a long time ago, but I, I don't remember like anything of, of it. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh no. He just took away my mercy button? He's just like, you can't. Escort attacks. Okay. This is where, okay. This is where I don't know if I need to fight back. I don't want to. You quietly tell Asgor you don't want to fight him. You did every route? I th I don't know. I think so? His hands tremble for a moment. Oh no, I was, I'm so not ready for this. Asgore, act. Uh, should I check? I don't even know if it's worth checking just to see what his stats are. It's fun to see what all the stats are. 80, 80, geez. Oh no. That one's not too bad. I'm going to lose a lot until I actually understand. Genocide Route was the second hardest video game challenge you've done. Oh, great. So that means if I start it, I'm going to be stuck in that probably for a long time. <laughs> you tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Okay, that was quite crazy. I think I just keep talking, right? So the hardest one you've done is 7C from Celeste. Well, I will... Okay, I, I'm hoping if I do Genocide Route, it's not that bad, but I still want, like... It's probably going to take me a couple tries, for sure. But if it gets too boring, I might not be able to stream Genocide Route if I get stuck. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Save the potato! Thank you so much for subscribing! Recollecting flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped, and his defense drops. So we'll probably want to use healing items, right? Oh, okay. I totally forgot. Orange you move, blue you don't. That's what that meant. Now, should we heal? <laughs> I feel like... How much items do I have? I have a pie, spider donut, and spider cider. Sure. We'll heal. Oh no. Oh, I was about to get hit again. It's completely easy except for two fights on the genocide route. Yes. I think I, I, I remember something like that. 
So it's going to be easy to get to those fights. Music goes hard, it does. Honestly, the music of this game is amazing. Seems talking won't do good. No, um, do any more good? Um, okay, if I can't talk anymore, then what do I do? Because I don't want to fight him, or do I have to fight him? Still most, the most uh, enjoyable experience that you've had in Undertale? Honestly, okay, so I've seen other content creators play this game, and I was like, yeah, it's cool and all, but when you're playing it, it's so different. Like, I, I feel like I like the game so much more after playing it than when I just watched the game. I don't know why I hit check. I wanted to talk again, but I think the talking is not really doing anything. Um, okay, I could have probably dodged that better. Okay, so talking won't do anything else, apparently. I already forgot what the colors... So it's in his eyes where he does that. I don't want to fight him, though. Do I have to fight him? I want to refuse to fight as much as I can. But if I keep talking... Um, I still should have probably grabbed more items before I started the fight. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Farewell was hard, but it was really good story. 7C was just not fun. See, that, that's the thing, right? Is it's like, I, I like it when something's hard and fun. If something's just too difficult, it's like, it's not like it, it more so becomes about doing the challenge and beating it. But when you don't, it's just like, it just feels like if you don't want to do that extra effort, you're just not having fun at that point. Yeah, it's doing the same thing every time, but I don't know. Oh, no, this is not going great. Well, okay. I want to add more healing items if I can. That last that last round, I feel like I just need to get used to those those things. Okay. Uh, sure. Let's go into our our the box here. Do we have items? What's astronaut food? Get rid of the stained apron. We have butterscotch pie. I forgot about that. Um, snowman piece. Was I supposed to do anything with that snowman piece? I feel like I've had that for a while. Yeah, the one thing that sets Undertale apart from other games is that you don't have to do most challenging thing to have fun, even after dozens of playthroughs. Yeah, it's like they, there's so many small things like the, even that um, the spider boss. If you have the spider donut, you don't even have to do the whole fight, which is a really cool mechanic. Or if you keep dying, you can go and buy the Temi armor to make the fights easier, which is also a really cool mechanic. I like I really like it when games implement like just ways of making things easier just because like some people they don't like they don't want the challenge. Some people enjoy it. Some people don't. Um, okay, I don't think I need any anything else here. You're just supposed to keep... Don't use it. Yeah, yeah, I, I won't use it. Ready? Yes, let's try this again. This is the first fight that feels super difficult to me. I will not betray the snowman. I left it... I accidentally ate it once and I had to delete... Or I had to just close the game and reopen it. Because I'm like, I am not doing that. <laughs> So I was trying to like look at it. I thought maybe I could use it somewhere and then I, I ate it and I was like, nope, not doing that. All right, so you talk with him. Oh, I already forgot the first thing that this thing did. So I think we just keep talking. You don't want to fight. This breathing gets funny for a moment. Oh, no, like that one. It's just trying to figure out where I can sit still. Man, I'm doing worse this time, but I'm just going to heal because I want to just learn more of this fight and see what else I need to do. I also don't need this spider donut anymore. I'm also like trying to get back into this game and it's like because I didn't play this for two weeks, so it's like I got to get used to this again. Do you firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting, recollecting flashes in his eyes? His attack drops and his defense drops. Yo, it's Asgore. Yes. Yes, okay. We're, we at least know what those do now. Alan von Kaiser, welcome back to the stream. 
We are back at it, and yeah, we're already on Asgore, and I've already lost once, so. So if I check his stats, what it, well, they don't go down. It just shows that he had less. Oh. Did I not get hit there? <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> Howdy to you two. So seems talking won't do, do more good. So I don't know what to do if talking doesn't do any good now. That one I like. That one's nice. Seems talking won't do any good. Do I just keep doing that though? Oh, man, I was closer. I don't want to just lose, but I don't want to use a healing item when I only have or when I have 11 health. Orange, orange. OK, I'm just going to keep hitting talking. I'm, ass I'm assuming if it's wrong, you guys will tell me. Oh, it's this one. I hate this one. That one sucks. I can't seem to wrap my head around that one. Asgore is a good example of what a boss should be. Hard, but not discouraging. Yes, I like it when when you have like bosses in games where you can basically just like learn, learn the game and like you, it feels rewarding after you've done it a couple times. I think that's true for every fight in Undertale. Yes. Undertale does a really good job, too, of like if you struggle on something, they do have a way to make it easier or at least for you to do something to make it like more tolerable. I don't know why I checked in there. Whoa, I liked that one before, but it's too fast now. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so we can do that. Do you have to fight? Do I have to fight? I know it keeps saying I was going to just see how long I could go without fighting for to see if something changes. Do I really have to? Wait, I've never done that before. I think I totally just fought wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> now I'm like I'm low on health, though. So I, I have to fight. All right, I'm going to take your word on this. Oh my gosh, he's got so much health. I Do I? Oh, I mean, if, if I knew I had to fight, I should have equipped a better item because I have like that dagger that does more damage. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Oh, shoot. This one's actually kind of crazy now. Yeah, I think I understand the fighting now. OK, I think I should heal, though. <laughs> I'm probably going to fail this time around just because you can spare him. OK. It does. OK, cool, cool. Thank you for letting me know. I was going to sit here and act out until I died and then eventually gone. OK, I have to fight him. Oh, no. Wait, what made his attack and defense go down? Was that the pie? No, fight. I need I need to fight. It's so weird going against like what you've been trying to do the whole time. Oh, man, I, I feel like it's so hard to get the it's actually the, the distance, like the speed that you travel is hard there. Oh my God. OK, that was crazy. You move too slow. <laughs> I probably should have moved to a different spot on the screen for that one. OK, I'm probably going to lose one more time. I think I should. Um, Eating butterscotch pie and talking to him thrice lower his attack and defense. That's crazy. Oops, I totally failed that one. Oh, I hate this one. Now, is the damage a big difference if I like equip something that does more attack? 
Or is it like pretty much the same with Asgore? Okay. You have a theory? What's your theory? Okay, I do need to definitely hit those good or else... Oh my gosh. I'm probably gonna lose this round though. Oh, okay, I totally could have done that. Um, do I have... What does this give me? Okay, that gives me a lot too. Okay. Trying to memorize. Uh, there's going to be a point where he does like six of those and I'm going to forget the order. It's going to happen. I did bad there. Oh, I did it. That was the first time I did that one without getting hit. Oh. No. Oh, man, that was close. Game theory. <laughs> well, it is probably a theory about a game. So, yes. Okay, blue, blue, blue. Okay, I think I did that perfectly. Asgore has low HP. Okay. Can I do something now? I talk to him now? All you can do is fight. Aw, man. I messed it up by talking. I thought maybe it was like... Oh, my God. Gosh, that's crazy. Oh, I totally hit the button there. What? No. No. It's so close. I'm totally going to lose this one. Oh, wait. I did it. When you level up, you do more damage to enemies because they know you killed someone and thus want to hurt you more. Or you take more damage from enemies. Oh. Interesting. I did it. I can't believe I, I almost lost that. Uh, so that is how it is. I had to. You gave me no choice. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declare war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Would you say you wonder if I'll do true pacifist before genocide? What is true pacifist? I don't I don't know the differences. If you tell me, maybe I'll do that first because I think like genocide should be the last run that you do. The question is <laughs> no. The answer is no. <laughs> and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule surf rule the surface in peace. Doing the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Mercy. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like... like a family. Oh no, here he comes. No! Wait, did he actually die? From Flowey? 
You idiot! You haven't learned a thing in this world. It's kill or be killed. One evil little flower. Oh. The game just closes? And now when I start it up again, something happens, right? Oh, okay, here it comes. Okay, hopefully the game starts capturing immediately. Come on, game cap. There we go. One day they all disappeared without a trace. Oh my gosh, Flowey, level 999. <laughs> oh no, 9999. Okay, this is where it is. Okay. I can't actually click anything. Oh. File erased. Howdy. It's me, Flowey. Flowey the flower. I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, He's dead, and I've got the human souls. Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Hmm, I can feel the ring, the wriggling. <laughs> Ew. Ah, oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more. Before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend, Flowey, has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death so you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Okay. Yeah, I think, like, if you die, you lose your save, but it's like, I think this is something that you're going to die multiple times. <laughs> is this Flowey? Is this his true form? Oh my gosh, look at that. Ew, that's disgusting! <laughs> Oh my. Um, yes. This is definitely easy. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> This is all just a bad dream. And you're never waking up. <laughs> Whoa, that's so trippy to look at. Do I have to start the game every time? <laughs> oh man. This is gonna be tedious because I gotta make sure the game like actually records or like goes to the screen. Okay, okay. <laughs> Did you really think I was going to be satisfied? Killing you only one time? So I just gotta keep opening the game every time I die? Oh, that's gonna be so annoying. And I have to watch his intro scene? Why does he look so gross? Like... Somehow I didn't die on this fight. I feel like I could have done it, it was just... 
Like, I thought it was going to be something you had to die in, but then I realized you can start to dodge stuff. Ooh. Oh, I did not know the, that whole thing that happens. Jeez. Okay, you can, I guess, touch the face and not get hit. Warning. Oh, no. What does that warning mean? Uh... You called for help? Oh no. Ooh. Okay. Oh my goodness. Literally being bombed right now. There's just so much you gotta look at. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. So we can do this for every soul? Oh no, let me out. No! Oh my gosh, that was horrible. Okay, so this is just how it happens, I guess, is that you... No, I need to heal. No, I need to heal way more than that. What the heck is... It's like saving my location, and then it's resuming me in the middle of, like, being killed. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, okay. Heal, 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 heal. I'm not gonna get them all. Oh, that hit me. I did not realize how much I was, I guess, getting hit there. No, okay, that's... Man, these, like, star things are really hard to dodge. I don't even know if... Can you dodge those? I mean, some of them you definitely can, but those are very difficult. Oh my gosh, I need more healing than that. That's so weird. That is so weird. Give me all the heals. Jeez. 
no. No. Okay, now you gotta... No, I need you to heal me. Oh my god, I got like none of those heals. Wait. Oh, more heals. Yes. Flyer's defense dropped to zero. Oh. Man, this is really hard to dodge these darn things. I hate those little stars that he throws out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is insane. I need to like still dodge some things or else I'm just gonna die. I missed that one too. Oh my gosh. No, no, this can't be happening. You! You! File 3 loaded? You idiot! No, I gotta do it all again! And I'm dead. I feel like this is supposed to happen now. <laughs> Did you really think you could defeat me? I am the god of this world, and you? You're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. You are worthless, friends. Can't save you now. Call for help, I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, daddy, somebody help. See what's good, see what good it does you. You called for help. But nobody came. Ooh, boy, what a shame. Nobody else is going to get to see you die. What? How'd you... Well, I'll just... Load failed. What? Where are my powers? The souls? What are they doing? No! No! You can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! Stop! Aha! The souls are my friends. I can't believe I did that on my second try. I thought I was going to lose again. Now, okay. Mercy? I feel like I have to. <laughs> what are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No? 
Burying me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. <laughs> this is gonna be like, just keeps, why? This is gonna keep like, why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. Is this gonna be the same thing? I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. We did it. He's gone. This is where he used to live. Now we go up here. Undertale. By Toby Fox. Is that the end? Wait, is that just the end? I feel like it's not just like credits. It's showing credits here, but like, I feel like more is coming. I'm trying to stay aware. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> ring, ring. Hey, uh, is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. So it's been a while. The queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best, anyway. The human souls the king gathered seems to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, if we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take, but we will get out of here. Stans, who are you talking to? <laughs> oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Hey, human! How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Well, besides one thing, the queen disbanded the royal guard. Since we don't have to fight humans anymore, wow, I have no idea what to do with my life. But that's okay, because I'm still working hard, even if it's on nothing at all. So don't feel bad. Papyrus is fine. Undyne is the one that's got it bad. She lost her job. Then she lost her house. It was sad, but we're taking care of her. She lives on our couch now. It's like a sleepover every night. A sleepover there's no escape from. Oh, we gave her a job too. Sans hired her at, as, or at his illegal hot dog stand. She hates working there, but she makes a mean hot dog. Nice. Oh yeah, she still blames you for the disappearance of Asgore. She talks to me a lot about getting revenge on you. She has a ludicrous plan to cross the barrier and beat you up. To be honest, I think it's impossible, but I like to believe it's not, because I want to go with her. Then I'd get to see you again, even if I'd had to fight you. Well, keep your fingers crossed and keep in touch. It'll make our plans easier. Bye. Lick. Okay, so we're like in some kind of weird universe. Like, are we back on the surface or? Oh, why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, 
you wouldn't have felt bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file and... Well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Undyne? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows, maybe she's got the key to your happiness. See you soon. Okay. So now I go back to my save file. Okay, continue. Do I have to go see Undyne? Do I have to like go see Undyne then do the ending? Yeah, so I got the neutral ending, apparently. How do I... So Okay, so it's saying if I load my save and I go see Undyne, apparently. Uh, where am I going? Actually, this is not the right way, is it? No, I want to go this way. Go see Undyne and see how things work out. Okay. So I'm assuming that's that means that um, it, like I, I should have gone back to some other places before proceeding to the end. Wait, does that mean I have to do like the whole end again? After I like do extra stuff, I should probably save too. I don't know what, what that really does, but just in case. Um... Yes, and <laughs> great answers my question exactly. Um, okay, so here's the things I have. This is what I played like two weeks ago. So do I remember the way out is the question. Let's find out. This was the whole Metaton area. There's this elevator. So we can take this elevator back out here. So now we're back at this hotel. Save again just to be safe. Did I see this thing on the floor? Hey, go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Wait, I never went this way, did I? Hey, check it out. Yeah, check it out. Junk food, empty gun, cowboy hat. Probably... Wait, wait, a mystery, mystery key some, to someone's house. What? Should I buy this mystery key? <laughs> Does this do anything? They want me to buy everything, but I don't even know if I need any of this stuff. This could be useful. I don't know if it's going to actually be... Thanks, but we, like, don't really need anything. Oh my god. Can you go get us some glam burgers? We don't really need anything. Wait, I'll pay you 1000 if you get a Metaton to autograph my butt. This is the key to the house besides NASA looks. Ooh! So I should buy it just to see what's in there? I mean, why not? All right, let's let's leave. I like see you later and stuff. Okay, okay. So, uh, do I remember everything about? I think this way. Which way was it to the the guy that lets me go a direction? <laughs> I don't know if this is the right way. I feel like I don't remember where. No, it is this way, right? We go this way and then down. This is the whole area where Metaton was doing stuff. Wait, what? Metaton looked really, really cool in that dress. It sort of makes me feel like I could wear one too. I didn't come this way before. It's a poster from for Metaton's latest stage performance. A tragic tale of two star-crossed lovers kept apart by the tides of fate. Looks like it's almost time for the performance. Did I not read this last time I played, or am I just forgetting what I've done before? 
Then there's this, this lady again. There you are, dearie. You are always welcome in my parlor. Just stay on your best behavior. Uh, hee hee hee. <laughs> Alright, let's go find out. I don't remember... I don't... I might be going the completely wrong direction here. Was there a faster way? Oh gosh, I'm like stuck in a puzzle now. Which way is the right way for me to go? Man, I really should have just watched my last stream over, shouldn't I have? Okay, no, this is the right way. This is where we were with the... Ah, L3 here. So then we... Ah, uh, shoot. <laughs> Fight one? Was this the spot? Yeah, level one. Just gonna save here. Oh, it's left one. Okay, so if I did L1, I would have been I would have been on the other side. Oh wait, I I have to hit left one. I can't even go back this way. Okay, okay. Left one is where I want to go. And left three was where I came from. Because I'm assuming I'm going to have to go back. Okay, so let's go left one. Hmm. Quite interesting trying to figure out the way back after not playing for weeks. Okay, so we go over here. Okay, I remember this spot now. Down here was to the boat. Now, where was Undyne again? Wasn't I Undyne just this way though? Oh wait, wasn't a tree supposed to grow here? I poured all the water there. I might actually have to do the other way. be going the long way here. This is where we fought Undyne. We had to run up that way. And this is where we saved. Where was Undyne's house again? What is this guy? Bah, today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Bah. There's no art in that action-y mindless schlock. It's like timing-based drivel. Give up something that challenges the deepest reaches of my mind. You, you're young. You've still got hope. Yeah. Here, try some solving, or try solving this block pushing puzzle. Did I do this before? What? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. <laughs> Forget it. This generation is really hopeless. Okay. <laughs> I tried. I didn't realize it was like little things different if you went back. Because I don't think those were there before. I think I went the long way. Maybe I should have went the other way. Um, yeah, that was to the end where Undyne cornered us. Oh, this was the puzzle room before where I had no idea where I was going. Was there anything this way? No. Nothing down here. Okay, now we just leave this area. Okay, I feel like I definitely went the long way through any of this here. Because, yeah, because I think we want to go this way. We want to visit Undyne, I think, at her house. And we have the key for the other house, too. So if we go here, we can save. And this is where NASA Blue's house is. Okay. Let's go check out that house up here. 
So this one, right? It's locked. Can I use this key? Wait, where did my key go? Oh, right here. Use. To use the mysterious key. The red house's door was unlocked. The key disappeared. Ooh. What? Books. Dear diary, Shiren's sister fell down recently. It's sad, without her sister to speak for her. She's become more reclus reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Bluki, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like that idea. Okay. <laughs> Dear diary, I like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. I love to collect diaries. That's fun. Dearest diary, our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. That leaves just Bluki and I. Bluki asked me if I was going to try to become corporeal too. They sounded so resigned. Come on, Bluki. You know I'd never leave you behind. And besides, I'd never find the kind of body I'm looking for anyways. My darling diary, I met someone interesting today. Last week I posted that advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork and she's obsessed with these awful cartoons, but she's kind of funny too. I want to see her again. Was that Alphys? Diary, my dear. <laughs> my diary collection is going fabulously. I have like five now. Dear diary, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Bluki. My dreams can't wait for anyone. Wait a minute. Is this like... So is this is like another ghost that... And it was almost as she was talking about Elphys. Did she make Metaton? Then a ghost went into Metaton. And that's why... Big Star? Or am I completely misreading all of this? Nasta look. Uh, I'm going to keep working on that mix CD. Uh, we can't lay on the floor with him again. Okay, so I remember Undyne's house was somewhere here. Oh, actually, was it up here and then to the right? No, this is the snail place. Oh, Papyrus. Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Sure. Okay, stand behind me. <laughs> make sure to give her this. She loves these. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. <laughs> Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? <laughs> what was Papyrus doing there? He's kind of like ran in a circle. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks? Was that a dog bone? I'll uh, put it with the others. So are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, Papyrus. Um, so why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the f fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. <laughs> Papyrus. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess... I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. 
He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like so much. What? What I read? <laughs> I don't know what I just read. I'm sorry. <laughs> you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. What? <laughs> Why don't you have a seat? Man, I'm really bad at reading. Sometimes I just say what my brain thinks the words say before I actually read the words. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wield the swords up to 10 times their size, right? No? Do I say true? <laughs> you liar. I've read Elphys' human history book collection. I know all about your giant swords, your colossal alien fighting robots, your supernatural princesses. <laughs> There's no way you're going to fool me. Okay. One time, Elphys' uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano <laughs> and fed himself grapes. Is that Metaton? I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. And the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. This oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. Seems history book. <laughs> yes. The, the very accurate history books. Hate cold food. So Elphys fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. A microwave. <laughs> Sit down and progress. Um, did I do everything? There's a door over here I didn't click on. You want to see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. Ooh, I know who she's talking about. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, it's, it's, I was trying to see if I could interact with the cutting board. Apparently not. Okay, let's progress. Wait, this window. Okay, we can't interact. I can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. Normally, this must be a common thing. Go to the other drawer? Oh, this one. I didn't even see this one. Look inside the bone drawer? Yes. <laughs> There's just a dog in there. Oh, that's funny. Thank you for letting me know. I would have missed that. Sit down and progress? Yeah, let's progress. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. In your hot fridge? What are you going to get me to drink? All set. What would you like? Oh, I have to pick. Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Aim with arrows and sl- Okay, wait, wait, So we have sugar, which goes in tea. So this is just sugar. Soda. Sickly yellow liquid. But it was also in a hot fridge. Hot chocolate, green cylinder, tea box, blatantly correct choice. I mean, I would say hot chocolate or tea box because both of those could be fine hot, but apparently the blatantly correct choice is tea box. What happens if I select one of the other options though? Does it like do anything? I kind of want to test it. That's sugar for the tea. I'm not going to give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? Do humans ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Uh, no. That's what I thought. Okay. What about this? This, uh, liquid. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Eh, that's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. 
It rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Why do I have it? Great question. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait, I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Okay, well, I'm glad we clicked on all of them. He, huh? Coming right up. That's obviously the right choice. It's interesting that there's even soda there because it'd be warm, right? You can also, oh, you could have reacted or in, interacted with Undyne in the sword. Aw, oh, man. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. I should have went all the way. I didn't even see. I just went like to the ones I was showing text for. Okay, it's all done. But the table's like broken. <laughs> How does it even sit on the table? Careful, it's hot. Yes. It's not that hot, just drink it already. <laughs> Take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. Pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Okay. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. Okay? You know, I was a I was pretty hothead kid. Once to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. <laughs> yes, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiley shreds. Or smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You were out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it... You'll have to have it for him. What? <laughs> That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid we're gonna be best friends? Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? Um, wimpy? Strong? I don't know what the... I feel like I would pound strong, but like, I don't know if there's a wrong answer here. Let's see, you punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah. Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Wow. Uh, well, just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, we just add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. 
but I just buy store brand. <laughs> they're on, they're the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely, carefully. Um, carefully. One at a time. That's not what I meant by carefully. They clank, clank against the empty bottom. Nice. All right. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Stir harder. 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 <laughs> uh, let me do it. Um... Man, she must be a great cook. <laughs> That's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. Otter. <laughs> Otter, darn it. I don't think this is how you cook. Wait, that's too... Oh no. Ah, man. No wonder Empire sucks at cooking. Oh no, did I do something wrong? So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. Oh no. I even failed to befriend you. And bow, she is homeless. <laughs> I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Yeah. Um. I don't want to attack her though. Fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me? Huh. Eh, you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid... Sh sh saccharin? Saccharin? Shtick? I don't know if I'm reading that right, the saccharin shtick. But, the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just someone, some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can pursue, persuade him to let you go home, eventually. Some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and... If you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let get the hell out of this flaming house. Yeah, she's a fish, so that's not... Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help... Just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait. This is sudden, but... Can you deliver something for me? Papyrus suggested that I ask you, but he told me when I still hated you, so... Uh, anyways, here, just take it. You got Undyne's letter. Well, what are you waiting for? Go deliver it. Uh, oh, yeah. It's addressed to Dr. Elphis. Okay, see you. Okay. So I have to deliver this to Dr. Elphis, but where is... Where does Dr. Elphis actually stay? Undyne's letter. Unique letter written for Dr. Elphis. Okay, so I have to deliver this letter now. We will save. 
Um, I don't remember which way I need to go. Is Dr. Elphis in the Heatland or do I have to go back to like Snowden? Or whatever it's called, Hotland. Right, because in Hotland, that's where the lab is, where all of Elphis' stuff is. So I assume that's where Elphis would be. Tra la la, eat a mushroom every day. Why? Then I know you're listening to me. <laughs> Fair enough. Come again sometime, tra la la. All right, so our goal here is to find Dr. Elphis. Slide the letter under? Sure. Slide the door under the door and give it to knock. What did I just read again? Oh my gosh, I slid the thing under and knocked, basically. Oh, no, it's that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? <laughs> Wait a second. How would you shut a letter strongly? Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven, much less, um, this. And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Oh, man. Why am I always dating people? <laughs> Dating start? Um, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. <laughs> oh, she got a dress on. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating. Start. <laughs> hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistics first. That increases the chance of successful outcome to the date, right? Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. I think she might talk about it anime. Probably. Um, maybe you can't use that, but... I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Um, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, um, so all these things are things that she got originally for Undyne, obviously. Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating, start. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Um... This is going great. This is how all my dates go, too. Uh, do you like anime? <laughs> There's the anime. Um, sure. Hey, me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. <laughs> Okay, that's a quite an interesting answer. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Heh, <laughs> she's really, uh... Oh no, that's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Ugh. Have you at least seen her? Uh, yeah. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my god. 
Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, um, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to, to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, uh, um, really want to be with, but I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny, and I'm just a nobody, a fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say, be yourself. But I don't really like who I... Who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But now, but how can I tell Undyne the truth? I don't have to be confident. Or I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Um, let's roleplay it? Or obviously let's roleplay? <laughs> well, obviously... Roleplay? That actually sounds quite... or kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will you be? Um... How about she bees Undyne? M me? Undyne? Uh, 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 okay. I'll say what I think she'd say, and you, um... You show me what I'm supposed to do. Um... <clears throat> nah. Hey, Alphys, you look cute today. Which I say often, but... Platonically, because I would never like you. Yo, you're one hot, hot baby. <laughs> Hi, Undyne. Can we talk? Talk to you? Hmm, I guess so. I often seem excited to listen to, to you for some reason. I will make intent eye contact with you. So you sweat while you talk. So what is it? Let's tell Undyne the truth. Elpis gives you a kiss. What? So you've been lying to me the whole time? Elphys, I can't believe you. You worthless slime, how could you betray our friendship after how much I trusted you? Elphys, I'll never love you. Never will you feel my passion embrace. I, Undyne, will never kiss you with my beautiful lips. What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like scientifically important. Really, I just... I just, whoa, and those human history books, those are just dorky comic books, and that history movies, those, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. By the time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt and something. Elphys. I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted to think I was smart and cool. That wasn't some nerdy loser. Elphys. Undyne, I really think you're neat, okay? Elphys. Shh. Just picks her up. Elphys, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. Why would you throw in the garbage? So you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Elphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training to you need to do that. 
Undyne, you- you're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaken! It's time to jog 100 laps hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Undyne? I'll do my best. Okay! Oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? No? No? I can feel my heart breaking into pieces. No, I can survive this. I have to be strong. Poor Elphys. Thank you, human, for telling me the truth. I'll try my best to live in this world. See you later. Whoa, where are we? Oh, we're in this area again. Okay. So what am I supposed to do now, then? Are taking in worthless garbage fills you with determination. Do I need to call somebody? Wait, okay. So we had to go visit Undyne for sure. We did that now. Um, we could visit them in Snowden again. Ring? Howdy! If it isn't my good friend, who trusts me? This is Papyrus. You, you're also a mutual friend. Elphus and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now, I feel strongly, and for no apparent reason, you should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Click. Okay, well, he just tells me where to go. All right. Uh, okay. Man, all this reading, I just have to drink some water. See, the thing about Undertale is there's so much, at least with the, I guess, normal or pacifist run, you do a lot of reading for the lore and everything. So we want to go back to Hotland. And then we're off. Okay. I'm not sure what else I need to do. Like, okay, so we're going to go here. We're going to finish this storyline or whatever. Pet, pet, pet. The next stretches infinitely into the cosmos. <laughs> yes. Don't worry about it. So I don't know what we're supposed to do after like this segment. Do I have to redo the the last boss again or something else? Come again sometime, tralala. -la. Okay. So now we're here. We got to go to the lab. So Elphis should be here at the lab somewhere. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. I cannot get more, unfortunately. Ooh. It's a note from Elphys. Read it. Sure. It's hard to read because of the handwriting. But you try your best. Hey. Thanks for your help back there. <clears throat> you guys, you, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. What? What I did? What did she do? Warning, warning. Elevator losing power. M tether stability lost. Or EM tether. Altitude dropping. Oh no. This is the end of our life. Um, Was this Metaton the whole time? Was this a trap? Where am I? Oh, I should be reading these. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Oh. 
Entry number two, the barrier is locked by the soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Oh. Entry number three, but erratic or extraction of a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul of the host. And unlike the persisting souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human soul. Or souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Interesting. So the humans have determination, but monsters don't? By this theory? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator, lost power, enter the cent center door. That's all you could read. Power room. Okay, so we got a door over here that's closed. What is this? Buy chips, 425 gold, sure. Oh wait, that wasn't chips, it was chisps. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. They're trying to recreate the power of a human soul in a monster's soul. Entry number nine. Wait, we went from six to nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get this, get their souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for their funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Some kind of operating table. It's sticky? Are they all sticky? I assume so. Okay. Turned on the sink. Oh yeah, let's turn on all the sink. Ugh, what is that? Blank drew near? Ah. Uh... but nobody came. I'm assuming I still don't want to fight these things because we don't want XP. You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. What? But nobody came. Memory head A. I'm assuming I want to refuse, be seeing you, come join the fun. Oh no. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Oh. You won. Okay, we just had to spare it after that. There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it on your keychain. Oh. Okay. What is this? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain dropped it. That's all you could read. Click. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. Okay. So we turned on the red switch, which I'm not exactly sure what the switches do yet. This was six, right? It was. So we, we don't know what seven and eight entries were.
No, I didn't want to read it again. Okay. I'm gonna save just in case I... Oh, and I can heal too by saving. Oh, so now I can see that there's red there. So we need to go up here now, which is now open because we have the red key. Entry number 12. Okay, we're missing some entries here. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Ugh. It's an empty dog food bowl. So we have a bunch of beds here. Seems like a comfortable bed. Lie on it? Sure. What happens? Oh. Can I do that and, like, stay there? Like, what happens if I stay here for, like, a moment? What is that thing? Do I move? Oh. It just tucked me in. Uh. Alrighty then. Not weird at all. We're in the true lab. The fake plant. Okay. The clock is broken. Number 14. Everyone that has fallen down is woken up. They're all waking or walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Okay, so they were up again. I don't think I can interact with any of these other beds, really. Yellow key. Okay. So I only saw that one because the blanket was underneath the pillow. Ooh, mirrors and flowers. Seven. Okay. We'll need a vessel to wield that the monster's soul when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of another monster, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyways. The seeds just stick to you and won't let you go. Which one was that one again? 10. Okay. So just the vessels failed at 10. Lots of mirrors. Okay. Ooh. What are you? Should probably check it, right? Sure. What? Mystify? Okay. Oh, I thought I had that too. Okay, let's try doing clean? You wash your hands, nothing happened. Aw. Right? You kneel down and pray for safety. Remember, Blink remembers its conscience. Oh. Hey, hum. You hum a familiar tune, but no one, no one heard you. Okay.
Okay, so the hum didn't do anything, Prey did, Clean didn't do anything, Mystify did. Pick on? You pick on Reaper Bird. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit, courage. Oh, it's like a- oh sh shoot, I almost- I almost lost that because I was reading. That's like a mixture of multiple creatures, isn't it? Okay. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Cold. That's all you could read. That's it? Just cold? There's a blue colored slot in the center. Wait. I don't have- I have the yellow key, right? Wait, I thought I had a, a key. I swear I had a key. What? It was a yellow key, I think, that I grabbed. Was there another blue key around here? Save. Oh, there's a door here. Entry number 15, okay. That, wait, did I read this already? Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returning the vessels to his garden. And I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Smiley face. No, 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 no. Okay, something bad happened after 16. Um, is there more down here? Oh, there's so many rooms, dude. Uh, what is there? Open it up. There's a green key. You took it and put it on your keychain. That's it. It was not empty. So we have the green key now. Yeah, that wouldn't make sense to be a save spot because we couldn't cross then. It smells like sweet lemons. Lemon bread. Okay, this is like another amalgamation of multiple creatures. It looks like it's a mixture of like the, yeah, flex guy. You flex your arm. Lemon bread's muscle muscles shakes. Welcome to my special hell. Oh. Oh. I would not have made that. You let lemon bread be, lemon bread's teeth shake. Think I'm pretty? No, I got hit there. That was like sweet lemons. I don't know what else I need to do for this one. You hum a familiar tune. Seems to remember something. You felt this before. What was I supposed to do for those? They were both red, or sorry, they were both orange and... Okay. Great, go stay determined. I'm sad that I lost on that one. It wasn't a hard one. I think I just had to be prepared for whatever the heck was going on. We don't really lose too much progress here. We don't have to read everything again. We just have to go back to get that key, though. Let's do this again. Yep, green key. Okay, what's up here? We know that's a boss there. Oh, yellow key. I don't know why, there wouldn't really be a point in me. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Under sheets, that's all you could read. There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Will you watch one? Oh, okay, this is all lore stuff then. Entry number four, we've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. 
I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore has watched them. I don't think he should. Yeah. Well, let's watch these, I guess. Psst. Gory, wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Her and why do you have that video camera? Shush, I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest. What is my favorite vegetable? Hmm, carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is eat a mom. <laughs> Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. He he he. Now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm, I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be. Uh. Momeranian. <laughs> you sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you'd keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Momedian. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on. Tori, that, that one was funny. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. <laughs> okay, so that's Toriel and Asgore, I assume. Choose a tape to watch? Yes. We got lots of tapes to watch, apparently. Okay, Draco, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah, he he he. Oh, wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. Haha. <laughs> Wait, why'd they have the same name as me? Howdy, Draco. Smile for the camera. Ha, <laughs> this time you got I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. He he he. What? Oh yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter. But we accidentally put in butter butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera, okay? Wait. Do I have like a brother or something? Or another sibling? I, I don't like this idea, Draco. What? No, I'm not... Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Draco. Never. Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Um, I'm curious why it's my name. Draco, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Draco, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Draco, please wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I, no, I said, I said I never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six and we'll do it together, right? What? That was the last one, right? Yeah. So, me and somebody else, or somebody has the same name as me? Uh, okay, no fighting. We're gonna do the flexing. Okay, and then we did unhug. No! I didn't mean to hit that one. Okay, I see what they want you to do for that one. Okay, so we unhug. Oh. Okay, so unhug that. Maybe cry? You cry as loud as you could, but nobody came. Nope, crying was not it. No, that still hit me. 
Oh my gosh, man. I'm gonna heal just because I don't want to redo this whole fight. I don't really need to, it's literally just one fight, so it's like I probably shouldn't use up a heal here. I just keep messing up in like the dumbest ways though. Okay, scream. You screamed out, but nobody came. Okay, scream is also not the right solution. Okay, so it's... So if it's not scream, it's not call. We did unhug, flex, and hum. Do we have to like do these again? Which one did I not do? I'm like, I'm mixing, mixing them up now. Jeez, man, this is actually difficult. Um, did I do scream? No, I already did scream. Oh, I can just go out here now. Okay, so we've done unhug, we've done... Did we do hum? Man, I'm doing horrible with this one. Will this be goodbye? Should I even... I don't even know. I wasted a healing item? Might as well. DT extraction machine, status inactive. That's determination extraction. Ooh, I want to save though. What? Oh, wait, no. I just can't see anything right now. Oh my goodness. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain, that's all you could read. I guess that's like a, a hint to like where you get the key from. Like, it's making sounds. There's something here. It feels like a tree. Something in the shape of a man. It's too dark to see near the walls. Um, okay, was there any other direction I could go, like up? I don't think so. I think we just gotta leave now. Okay. Was that all of the keys? No, there was still one more key I needed, the blue one or whatever. I want to save though, because obvious reasons, I'm like nearly dead. <laughs> hmm. Entry number 11. Now that Met Metaton's made it big, we never talk to me anymore, or he never talks to me anymore, except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll have to be friends, or we'll, nev we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Okay. There's a switch on the wall. Press it. Um... Press it again. Okay. Well, good thing we saved the amalgamates. Well, we got a pet. You just pet the air. Oh no. Whoa. Okay, so we can't, let's first, um, beckon? You call the amalgamate, it bounds towards you, fletching a straight liquid from an orifice. Nice.
Okay. And now we can do... Pets? You pet the amalgamate. It, it convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Suddenly, it shoots away, crawls wildly on the walls. Okay. Ooh, that was probably going to be a hit there. Okay, so now you play. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The amalgamate brings it back to you proudly. You repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping orf orphous body on you. Amorphous body. Oh, I wasn't ready for that one. Okay. So... Pet? You pet Amalgamate. It starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. Okay. Oh, seems too tired to play. Oh no. I might actually lose this again. Uh, let's just keep petting, I guess. You pet decisively. The amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. Endogeny is con contented. Okay, spirit. Yeah, I knew there was like a dog type amalgamate guy. Okay, so now that these fans are on, is the other room now clear? And I'm going to go save again, just in case another enemy comes up. We seem to be using up all of our health. Oh wait, this is this room. We gotta go this way. Oh yeah, this is far. Okay, so now we can kind of see this room. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. The refrigerator, it's empty. Okay, samples. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everybody being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. Okay, I feel like this is going to have me battle something. Entry number 20, 21. I spend all of my time at the garbage dump now. It's my elements. The refrigerator, it's empty. Okay. The refrigerator, it seems to contain samples of some kind. The refrigerator, it's empty. Are you sure this one's empty? Oh. It's not. So cold. Oh, it's that thing. It's all like amalgams of like previous creatures that were here. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny. You can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do it. Didn't do that. Snowy. It's so cold. You said something like, you look horrible. Why are you even alive? What? You didn't say that? Huh? Okay. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Haha, <laughs> I remember. Her expression changes more. Haha, <laughs> thank you. Okay. He told a bad pun about snow. Completely calmed down. Oh. There's the blue key. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you could read. Wait, I already did this, right? Yeah, this is the room I accidentally stumbled into. It's like something's in here, but it keeps telling me it's empty. All right, we have the last key, though. We just got to go put it in. I honestly thought we didn't have this much left of the game today. I was hoping to start the genocide route, but 
I don't think we're going to be able to do that today. So the interesting thing that seems to be is that Elphis was the one asked by Asgore to try to figure out ways to... Oh, wait, it has been turned on. Oh, cold. Yeah, so that's the one that we got, cold. Yeah, so Asgore was the one that asked Elphis to do this. And Elphis had basically had to do some things that she wasn't too thrilled about. What was this again? A dog bowl? Yeah. Okay. The moment we've basically been waiting for to get to that big door. Will it be worth it? But it's an elevator with a pathway. Okay. Turned off. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? Sure. But it looks like it's a heart. Oh no. Hey, stop. I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smell the potato chips you had, and anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were the one, one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of the souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take the concentration of determination. Their bodies started to melt, and I lost my phys or and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those... Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me, and I was too afraid to do anything more. Everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now? Now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it will be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. So we do all that to learn the story just for Elphys to just tell us it in the end? What? Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder... What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Oh, is this how Flowey started? The flower's gone. Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Draco, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, 
Everything has fallen into place. Draco, see you soon. Okay. I really have no idea what's happening now. Um, we're here again? Okay. We're here again. No saves. Is this the end end now? Wrong room. Okay, I guess we... Wait, let's go see if there's anything else down here while we're here. There's a name engraved on it. Oh, still Draco. Okay, that hasn't changed. I was wondering if the name would change or anything like that. But the answer is no. Okay, everything's still about the same here. Okay, so we're back here again. We save at the end. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. So do I have to redo all of this again? I see, this is it then. Ready? Apparently, I have to redo it all now. Oh, no. Wait, a strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. And he, if he does the same exact thing again? Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. have to redo all of this again? Oh my gosh. Oh wait, no, I don't. What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must, must have been so treacherous, and ultimately it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take a life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the humans and come back and freed everyone peacefully, but instead you made everyone live in despair, because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Hori, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> No, Asgore. Nah, Asgore, human. Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends. Or, el or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? Is it... It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> hey, nobody hurt each other. Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel, hello. Um, hi. There's two of them. <laughs> hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. Hello. Oh, hello. 
Your Majesty. Psst, hey, human. Did Asgor shave? And clone himself? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? That voice. Hello, I think we may know each other. Oh hey, I recognize your voice too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait, then... This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wow, we! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am! This is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with... Shingles! Shingles! It changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. Undyne's totally right about the fish thing. Sometimes you've just got to, uh, stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, j just get to know a really cute fish. It's a metaphor. <laughs> well, I think it's a good an analogy. Oh my god, will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up. Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Elphys? Uh, Elphys? Uh, no, he's right. Let's do it. Uh, well, uh, I guess if you want to, then don't hold anything back. <laughs> this is the lips. Wait, not in front of the human. Uh, right. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. Hee hee hee. My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while, but looking at all the great friends you have made, I think... I think you will be happy here. Hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say... A tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower? Oh, you're back, Alan von Kaiser? Well, we did come back here. You came for the best part, yes. You idiots. While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are going to be mine, too. Hee hee hee. And you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them. Encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they would have come they wouldn't have come here. And now with their human or with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. Hee <laughs> hee. Huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But the scheme between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you with just within your reach, and then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. Hee hee hee. Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied, but that won't happen. You, I'll keep you here no matter what. Okay. Even if it means killing you one million times. What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Power Flat Screen Universe, hello! You're at the very end, one of the best parts. Believe in you. Hey, human, if you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry, we're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. 
technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But somehow, I know you can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. La la la, we're with you too. Come on, you got this. You got this win. You can do it, Ribbit. Err, no. Unbelievable. This can't be happening. You, you. I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. You didn't think you'd make it because you're stream hopping? That's okay. Honestly, like, if you don't make it, that's fine too. But I'm always glad to see you in the chat. So thank you for stopping by. And who is this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be the other person? Finally, I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy, Draco, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Azriel, dreamer. Ooh. The end. This is the prince. Hope dream? You held on to your hopes. You reduce how much damage you'll take this turn. Oh. It's the end. Oh my gosh. It's getting all crazy. Let's go, yes. You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. Wow, that's crazy. Azriel charges Shocker Breaker. What is Shocker Breaker? I don't know. I'm probably going to at least die once here. The hope makes me reduce damage. Your items fill up with dreams. Oh, does that mean my items? I don't care about destroying the world anymore. I probably should check my inventory. I don't even know how I dodge anything there. What is this? Through determination, the dream, ba the dream became true. Your HP was maxed out. After I defeat you and gain co total control over the timeline, I just want to re reset everything. Okay, I see. Wow, that was absolutely horrible. Well, good thing we have heals. All your progress, everyone's memories, I'll bring them all back to zero. Wow, that's crazy. Azriel ready, star blazing. Okay, let's hope. You kept holding on. Damage reduced. Then we can do everything all over again. Okay, so at least it can like kind of prepare you for the attack that you're going to see. If you know what the name of them all are. Asriel Reddy's Chaos Buster. I don't even know which one that one is. I think doing hope is good. Because it, it reduces damage unless you're weak and you know what the best part of all this is. You'll do it. Oh. Wow. I did not know there was a final shot either. Okay, well, we have another dream, so... Your dream came true, and then you'll lose to me again. Okay, that one I have to be in the middle and then dodge. I'm going to do a dream here just so... And again. Oh no. 
Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I knew I was going to lose once, but... Wait, but it refused. Oh, I just... Keep going. Oh. And seeing a lot of glitchy beta 3 BS at saying something. Yeah, I... You re... re Fuse. Yeah, that's that's cool. I like that. Okay. You held onto your hopes. You reduce how much damage you'll take. I'll just keep doing this, I guess. I don't like this one. Okay, I think I'm getting that one. It's weird. Um, do I have which items do I have actually? Oh, I have dreams still. Cool. So I'll just do hope again. Damage reduced. Okay, as you're ready, Chaos Buster, which is that one again. We'll just do this. Wow, that's crazy. Even like kind of understanding how it works, I still get hit so much. I just almost got destroyed there too. Oh no, I wanted to heal. Oh no, this, this might be... I could have dodged that, but I still refuse to die. Okay. I don't know how long I have to do this for. And that one's hard to dodge, actually. Oh, that was crazy. Docker Breaker 2. gonna heal again oh yeah this is crazy but if he talks to you you're going the right path okay so wait am I not going the right path right now I don't know I'm just trying to survive So I dream, because I didn't do that one. Yeah, because you love your friends. Oh my gosh. That was horrible. Because <laughs> you never give up. My goodness, what was that? Oh my gosh. Okay, I basically just have to keep healing. Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that let you get this far, it's gonna be your downfall. Oh my gosh. I just gotta keep healing like every turn. Now, enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Oh. Oh, this is weird. Oh, now I'm at one health. Nice. <laughs> Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way. Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. 
Let's see what good your determination is against this. He just stretched himself out. Oh, Azriel blocks the way. Ooh. Can't move your body. Ah, ha, ha. behold my true power. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now I just gotta keep doing this. I guess, like, you can just lose every time you die. Your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here in a world where no one remembers you. Kind of hard to dodge. I can't change. I can't use any items either. Asriel Dreamer, God of Hyper Death. Yeah. Still, you're hanging on? That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. That is so difficult to dodge, man. So I just gotta keep going. Still? Come on. Show me what good your determination is now. The whole world is ending. Can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But maybe with what little power you have, you can save something else. Oh, I can save my friends. Ooh, let's start off with Toriel. You reached out to Azriel's soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Azriel's soul, something's resonating. The lost soul appeared. Can I hug? You hug the lost soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. This is for your own good. Forgive me for this. Ooh. Lost souls stand there. You tell the lost souls that you won't hurt him, no matter what. Something about this is so familiar to him. No one will ever leave again. This is my duty. The lost souls stand there. Okay, so we've hugged Mercy? Something about this is so familiar. The lost souls stand there. What's preference? You tell the lost soul you prefer cinnamon instead of butterscotch. Suddenly her memories are flooding back. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. You feel something faintly resonating within Azriel. Oh wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to hit save. Man, why does it default on fight? All right, let's do Undyne and Elphys then. You reach within the depths of Azriel's soul. Something's resonating. A lost soul appeared. Oh, it just says only her. Um, fake hit, yeah. You tap the lost soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. All humans will die. The lost soul stands there. You ask the lost soul to teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. <laughs> You're our real enemy. Okay. Smile? You gave the lost soul a big smile, like you remember she likes to do. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. So we slowly free everybody. Papyrus! Within the depths of Azriel's soul, something is resonating. Can we get, yeah, we can get both. 
joke. You told the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to hate it, but the other lost soul seems to like it. Just give it up, I did. I must capture a human. Oh, it's this. Aw. Just had to stand still. The lost souls stand there. So this one is... Crossword? You tell the lost soul you think that crosswords are tougher than Jumble. That seems to have a dim recollection of this fact. Why even try? Then everyone at will? Whoa. It's funny that their smile is still there. It is funny, yeah. The lost souls stand there. Okay, so we did joke. Judgment. Let's do... Ooh. Recipe? You ask the lost soul to cook something for you. The lost soul is trying to hide its joy. You'll never see him again. Okay. I don't remember which ones I've done all of. Uh, crossword. Judgment? If the lost soul, you'd think about what you'd done. It nods solemnly. No, wait, you're my friend. I could never capture you. Nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. Nice. So you even heal up after you save somebody. I didn't notice that. Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. I wish you could get Elphis and Undyne at the same time, because, like, everybody else was. Uh, nerd out, yeah. You ask the lost soul what her favorite cartoon is. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. You hate me, don't you? Oh, I forgot that that's things that happen. Okay, we did uh, Nerd Out. Let's do Encourage. You tell the lost soul that you'll continue to support her. Something about the way you said that is familiar to her. I've got to keep going. Oh, it's the other way. That was horrible. <laughs> I was shooting the wrong block. Uh, quiz. You asked the lost soul for help on a quiz question. Suddenly, memories are flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you. You feel your friend's souls resonating with Azrael. Strangely, ask your friends as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul. Something or stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reached out and called their name. Huh? What are you doing? Oh, they're so cute. You feel your friend's souls resonating within Azrael. Save himself. What? What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no, I don't need anyone. I dodge that shockingly a lot. Stop it, get away from me. Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart. And then this one I get hit. Dave. Draco, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? doing this because you're special, Draco. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who has any fun to play with anymore. No, that's not just it. I, I, I'm doing this because I care about you, Draco. I care about you more than anybody else. Then let me save you. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So please stop doing this. 
and just let me win. Stop it. I'm 0 .01, 0 0.01. Stop it now. Draco. I'm so alone, Draco. I'm so afraid. Draco, I... I... I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Draco? I know. You're not actually Draco, are you? Draco's been gone for a long time. Um, what? What is your name? Frisk? That's... that's a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love another people. However, with everyone's soul inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Elphis, Toriel, Monsters are weird, even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. Haha. <laughs> Frisk, I... I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, families, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. Of course we forgive. We're on the, this run. What? Frisk, come on. You're, you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if I do, for, if, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination, it's time for monsters to finally go free. <laughs> Breaking the barrier. The barrier was destroyed with determination. Well, technically souls, but still. Frisk, I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. Comfort, for sure. Ha, uh, ha. Uh. Don't want to let go. Frisk, you're... You're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do. Everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of mom and dad for me, okay?
Risk. This is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Everyone's here. Oh, you are awake, thank goodness. We were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears! <laughs> Damn, I'm sad now. I know, this is so sad. Yeah, saddest ending to a fairly new character. But at least, at least every soul was returned, right? That was, it's like bittersweet, you know? Now, now, the important part is that Frisk is all right. Here, Frisk, why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. <laughs> uh, how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, from what I am not certain, Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk. You can say goodbye to all your wonderful friends. Do as you wish, we will all wait for you here. Okay, now. Okay, I have tasks to do, right? Do I talk with them or am I talking to like other people? Hold up. Don't. Yeah, remember the tree. I do. Now, if I go down, I can go back to the tree, right? Okay, so now it's a tree. So I don't know what the the fastest way to get there, but it's a tree, but Okay. I'm going to try going back then. There is another thing. Okay. Hopefully I can get there. I would like to try to finish up this run before the end of stream today. You can give a goodbye to literally everyone. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know if I'll... I won't have enough time to do all that. But the very first room in the game... Like, I can literally say bye to, like, everybody. Or ever again. It's like... It, the very first room in the game. Okay. This will catch up with you later. Cool. So good news. The elevator started working again. But now it's been so busy, we still haven't gotten the chance to ride it. Wait, does this elevator work? Oh, it's just in use. That's a slime. I'm overjoyed. I'll just say bye to a couple people, but... Resort shutting down. But I think you'll find it's still great to pass through. Yep. Okay. Let's go find... Um, which way? Wait, was this the way to the lab, right? Or what was this way? Oh, this is the R3, so I can take this door immediately. And we can go all the way to L1. So I gotta go to the first room in the game. If I can remember how to get there. Hey, it's a tree! A small tree is growing in the puddle. Neat! 
Okay, okay, okay. I'll be able to have a nice drink on the surface. Okay, that's neat. There's a little tree that's growing there. It's cool. It's like such a small detail. You have to do so much to commit to it. And there's just a small tree that's there. But it's cool that that happens. Oh, I could have... Wait. Oh, that was for the tree was massive. Yes. Can I say bye to this guy? Or did you just talk about box, box again? You again? Bah, I don't care about going free. Do you think humans could appreciate the details of classic puzzles? It's like, I like it when games have very small details like that. It's like a lot of the replayability at that point is just seeing what you can do in the game at different points. So it actually gives you like a chance to replay it. You now know how to play it and everything. I feel like there was a faster way to get to... I definitely did not take the most efficient route. Oh well. I've already commit to it. Yeah, and I think I, I, I was trying to find the boat dude and I lost him. So I, I'm going to like this area. I know he's here, but I feel like there was one in the hotlands that I could have gone back to that I don't know which path thing I would have needed to take. I know the boat dude I can go to here. So we want to go all the way back to Snowden because that would be the fastest way to get to the first room, right? Care for a ride? Yes. Where will we going? Snowed in. Okay. So, I want to try doing whatever we can do right now before the end of stream because um, it's getting close to the end of the time I normally end my streams, but I want to try to do what I can now because I probably will try to do a new run next stream. Unless there's a lot more I have to do to clean up, but... So what's a game you can play with a dog? Asking for a friend. <laughs> All right, so we're back here. Come again sometime, Chalala. -la. Okay, so we need to now... We want to go to the front. The dogs are in Snowden, including the experiments. Oh, really? Where in Snowden? I want to go see. Oh, here they are. Yeah. All of our parents have been combined into one horrible being. That's okay, though. It's really brought our families together. Hmm, now that our parents are the same entity, does that mean I'm married to my sister? Wait, we're dogs. That stuff's normal. <laughs> Is there anything... Can we, like, finally go into Sans's room? Nope. Oops, I went in there on accident. Oh, you missed when we fought Azrael? Yes, you did. Just by a little bit. <laughs> we are now going through the end, just checking things out. Where am I going this way? I want to go back to the starting room, because uh, Alan Von Kaiser is telling me that there's something in the, the starting like the very first room of the game so i'm hoping i like after this stream will be kind of done with this run Ooh, this guy yo what's up i've been kind of doing some thinking maybe undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought she's just kind of wait i didn't read it but yo i just found out about some someone way cooler yeah <laughs> him yeah, that's awesome. It'll be nice to show humans our presents under the Christmas tree tradition. They'll probably be weirded out by it. Yes. Welcome to Snowden. Yeah, after this, we'll be done with the run. Yeah. That's so why I want to try to do whatever cleanup I can at the end of the stream. 
because I am actually getting really hungry. I gotta go grab something to eat, but uh, I'll finish this up first. Oh, it's this little guy. Maybe someone on the surface will pay attention to me. There's so many people. Someone has to, right? No. <laughs> oh yeah, it was this thing. I remember this pathway. There was that one secret door, but I don't know if I can actually enter it. Yeah, I think there was like something crazy you had to do. We want to go all the way back to the beginning, right? Yeah, forget about the door. Okay, yeah, the door we can't do anything with. Oh, these are the the original, yeah, the original puzzles and stuff given by uh, Papyrus. Okay. What? Way too big of a grind for nothing. Too great. Yeah. <coughs> what is it that you have to do again for that door? It was something about like either like not getting hit or not dying or something. It's it's kind of crazy. What is... Oh, oh, this is the other amalgam guy, Snowy. The doctor, she brought my wife back from the dead. My son, he seems happy again. Our family, it's bigger than ever. Now that my wife is combined with 16 other people. Mom might have to share her mind with other people now, but she's still my mom. And that's cool. Because uh, we're made of ice and stuff. What? It's a joke. Laugh at it. <laughs> the convenient lamp. Wow, this is a long walk. <laughs> not get hit in the credit scene fight and then come back in the same fight wow yeah that sounds crazy this is like okay that's like the whole flowy fight when you like morphs or whatever you have to not get hit I don't see, like, I don't know. I wouldn't go for that. That would take me way too long to try to, like, even attempt for probably what is just, like, a very small, like, Easter egg that I could just Google if I really wanted to. I want to go all the way back. I didn't realize we could even go this far back. That's crazy. Wait, is this just a circle room? I think I just went in a circle. <laughs> oh wait, was I supposed to go that? I was. Frog guys. If there's anything in the spider shop. Oh, okay. Where was that? I'll have to see if I can remember where that was. I think that was... Wait, that was over here, right? Or was it back a bit more? I think it was back more. I think it was like... Oh. I forgot about this thing. It was like by some frogs for sure. Or did I miss it? Oh man, I thought I. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's the candy. 
Don't take more than one. I think I missed the shop. Did I? Or was it here? Aw, oh, darn. I might have missed it. I didn't think it was... I thought it was a different spot, but I could have just completely walked by it. I can go back if I did miss it, but... Okay, I did miss it. Darn. Okay, I think I know exactly where it is then. I just did not take the turn. Oh, shoot. Yeah. I don't know what the pathway is. You have to walk all the way back anyways. Yeah, that's true. We'll enjoy a nice walk back. I could just reload the save because I haven't saved again since walking away, but I don't know if it's something that I need. That's neat. Golden flowers, they must have broken your fall. Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. That's cool. Brisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't. I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey, let me ask you a question. Frisk, why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Ebbet are said to disappear. Frisk, why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... Well, only you know the answer, don't you? Ooh, I know why Draco climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, it will, I'll be honest with you. Draco hated humanity. Why Why they did, they never talked about it. I never said anything, what? <laughs> but they felt very strongly about that. Apparently I hated humanity, guys. Frisk, you really are different from Draco. In fact, Though you have similar uh, fashion choices, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, Draco wasn't really the greatest person, while Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let me be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Draco and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. They were they were the one that picked up their own empty body. And then when we got to the village, they were the ones that wanted to to use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then because of me, we well, that's why I ended up a flower. Frisk this whole time, I've blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to w wage war against all of humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision. But you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left, but that's besides the point. Chris, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowies out there, and not everything can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk, don't kill, and don't be killed, alright? That's the best I c you can strive for. Well, see you. Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? Well, is that it? Oh, okay, that's... 
So there's two humans, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. So that gives you a lot of lore. I actually going back to the beginning, I didn't realize like you get a lot of context from that. I'm happy that, that I walked all the way back. It was so worth it. Okay. Now, the last thing I wanted to do is because I said I was going to check out the spider shop. We'll go check it out again. Yeah, there's Draco and Frisk. Draco was the first one. Apparently, because you name yourself, but you're the one who's actually the evil one in the past. So there's no way you can ever be nice when you play this game. It, as long as you don't name it after yourself. Uh, down, up. That puzzle's not hard. <laughs> Just got a long walk ahead of us now. <laughs> I want to see if I can remember where that the spider store was in the ruins. If I took an extra candy now, would it be bad? Yes, the door in Snowden, the one right after slide in the gate puzzle. Yes, that we were talking about that. I believe that door, you have to basically have like a perfect run. Do I remember the solution for this one? I did. How did I do that? The slide. Wait, am I get? Am I thinking of the right one? The sliding gate puzzle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one that we were talking about earlier. It's just like you need to do something crazy. Oh, right here, right here. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Wait, I already bought all both these items though. Oh. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Oh, you can still buy stuff from here. Oh, cool. Spider Donut and Spider Cider. I like the name of that, Spider Cider. It goes right off the tongue. You don't have to perfect run this one you need to do when you get in the credits of the game. You have to dodge them with your soul. If you know hit the credits, you will unlock the door. Yeah, but what part is that that I have to like? It, have I seen the credits yet? Is this something that's crazy to do or is it easy to do? Or is that the whole like flowy fight that you do the first time? Because like uh, I know we were chatting about it. I don't really know what uh, what what I need to do to actually unlock that door. Our journey all the way back. Okay, I haven't done it yet. And it's quite hard to dodge. Okay, well, I'm probably not gonna get it, at, at least not my first try. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. But it's not at the flow ending. Okay. Or the flower ending. Yeah, I know she's sorry. I, I don't like it where YouTube uh, chat has like the little icon showing over the chat. So sometimes I can't see the end of like the first sentence or the last sentence there. So I said flow instead of flower, but yeah, it's not the flower ending. I was going to say if it was that flowy ending, that's insane. There's no way I would do that without getting hit. Now, I don't have to solve these puzzles to go across, right? I can just walk across probably.
A snowman was up here too, right? Is this something new? Ah, I can feel that piece of me has been well taken care of. Hmm, the barrier- the barrier's opened up? Hmm, then if it's not too much to ask, could you take that piece of me to the surface? I really appreciate it. Oh, cool, so he is- He's there, we got to talk with him. Wait, I don't think this is the right way. Nope. Oh, you've beat eight or nine times and not once have you done the credits without being hit. Yeah, I think it's like, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, you could probably do it if you put in enough effort, but is it really worth it? I think like I'd rather just go on YouTube and find like somebody who's done it and I can see what's behind the door and see if it's even worth doing myself. I don't know. It's I don't really have an interest in trying to go through that crazy of a of a challenge. At least not yet, we'll see. But super long walk back. Oh no, don't fall. Aww. Try to walk up a little bit more. Um, this way. So the door that we were talking about is down here, but it's obviously locked. I can't go in it. Well, I'm happy we were able to actually beat uh, Undertale today, at least this run. I was kind of worried. I thought like it was going to be a lot quicker, but I didn't realize how much was actually still left. Yeah, I could I could have done that, but I was I wanted to also check out the spider bake sale, and I was like, well, we're already here. I think it's, it's kind of poetic to, to walk all the way back and then walk all the way back again. What's the game you can play with a dog asking for a friend? Again? You already asked me that one. Plus, I get to chat with you guys a little bit before I have to head out, too. Come again soon sometime. Tra la la. Was it up here? Yeah, L1. Now we go to R3, I think. It's kind of cool understanding the whole map too. If I ever want to replay this on my like my free time, I could mess around with just I know the map a lot better now. Um, we gotta go through here. Go through here. Getting there. I do remember this room is the room that you fight Sans in when you do the genocide route. It's good to know the map when you have tried to kill all your friends on a new save file. Yeah, that's true too. That's true. Like, because we will be doing genocide next, so it's gonna be good to know the whole map. I do. I did look a little bit into the genocide route just to make sure. 
Um, okay, do I chat with these guys too? Hello, Frisk. Elf has upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned. And also that she's a huge dork. <laughs> you two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. <laughs> wow, those puns are even less funny coming from her. Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. Hey Frisk, what's with that weird expression? Sans, did you tell, or did, did I tell you about the time Frisk flirted with me and then asked me to call me mother? Oh boy, wow Frisk, this really puts our relationship in a new light. Hey Tori, do you have any other embarrassing stories? Oh, do I ever, but I think that story is one of the most unbelievable. It is hard to think of, I think anyone would want to flirt with me. <laughs> oh, Toriel, have you no idea? <laughs> what did I come back to? This is just the ending of the game, closing out, chatting with everybody in the end. And I will be planning to do a genocide route after this. It's probably going to be the next stream, actually, because I think it's shorter to do genocide. Um, but I have to look into it to make sure I don't mess it up, because you have to do everything very specific, right? So, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? <laughs> then what was the point of the humans' quests? They journeyed all the way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard? Truly, this is the worst possible ending. So, Elphys, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course I'm going to go out and, um... No, I should be honest. I'm going to stay inside and watch the anime <laughs> like a total loser. That's the spirit? Everyone, a celebration of being losers. <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing to ever happen to me. So I'm glad that we... Uh, well, what is it, Asgore? Um, what's an... Anime? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Frisk, please, help me explain what anime is to Asgore. You see, it's like a cartoon, but... With swords, with guns. I feel like, actually, yeah, anime would have both. Swords? Sure. So it's like a cartoon, but with swords? Golly, that sounds neato. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? Hold on, uh, I think I have some on my phone. <laughs> Here, look at this. Oh, uh, um, that's the, that's the wrong, uh, never mind. Golly, were those two robots kissing? <laughs> Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, it sure is. <laughs> you love this ending, Alan? Yeah, this ending's great so far. Frisk, um, you've got, you gotta tell me, do you think Asgore and Toriel are, uh, ever going to get back together? Probably. I think they will. I think once things turn around. Yeah, yeah, that's what I hope to. Just think about how cute they must have been together. It's quickly becoming my number one ship of all time. <laughs> Tori and Gory. My, my old boss and his ex-wife. Uh, that sounds a lot less cool all of a sudden. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. <laughs> Asgore, that's not what I meant. <laughs> yes, this is a great ending. It's technically shorter, but if you get stuck on a boss fight, it can be way longer than Pacifist. Yes, that's the thing, right? Is I'm hoping it's not longer. It depends on the boss fights, though. The final save.
If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. Alright, guys. Dance didn't try to kill me. Did did Elphis try to kill me? I don't think she did either. She tried to help me, actually. It was Metaton that tried to do all the killing, which by extension, maybe. Um, Alright, guys, I think this is it. This is the final moment. We are getting ready to leave. Here we go. I am ready. Oh my. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow, it's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans, what's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowee! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk. I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Yes. Let's do it. Yes, Frisk will be the best ambassador, and I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. Oh no. <laughs> Welp. Someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Good work, Sans. Wait, didn't he go the other direction though? Man, do I have to do everything. Papyrus, wait. Hey, Undyne, wait up. Whoops. Uh, should I do something? <laughs> Doriel's face is just like... <laughs> well, gotta go. Go get him, Toriel. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Oh, she's not gonna go. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? Oh my god, this is a hard choice. <laughs> the wifey side eye face. <laughs> That's a good way to word it, yes. I want to stay with you. What? Frisk, you really are a funny child. <laughs> if you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. <laughs> it is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. Hehehe. <laughs> well, I suppose, if you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. Alright? Now come along. Everyone is waiting for us. Yes, we go with them! The best ending ever. This is the end. What am I supposed to... Am I supposed to do anything? I don't want to do anything now. Professional frog. Braver every day. Reformed bully. Found a new cave. I hate Vegetoid, oh my gosh. The popular nutritionist. Casually enjoys life. <gasps> That's the look! Spooky DJ. So this is the actual part where you have to dodge stuff, right? Or... Or do I not dodge stuff yet? Papyrus by Toby and Temi. Sans by Toby. Special inspiration! Am I supposed to dodge anything? Not yet, okay. Snow Drake, Ice Cat. Temi successful comedian. Gift Trot, I like the Gift Trot actually. 
Christmas display has its own seeing eye dog. <laughs> That's funny. Dog, Dogami and Dogarisa? Finally, number one nose nuzzle champions. <laughs> Lesser dog, greater dog. Found a loving owner and excited by life's changes. <gasps> yes, Elphys and Undyne. <gasps> oh, it was Onion Sons. I liked Onion Sons. I think it's like one of my favorite like non-main character. <laughs> Elphys. Aaron and Moldbug Bug. Woshua Temi. <gasps> Temi's. Legendary Janitor. Mad Dummy. Shiren. Calm down just a bit. Taking a piano lessons again. Oh, <gasps> Metaton! And NASA Blug. Metaton's legs, man. Look at them go. The two dogs are always great, yeah. Vulcan. Sunderplane. Finally c confesses what I do. <laughs> Encouraging space heater. Woof it. Spider success with a new bakery. Oh yeah, the Royal Guard guys. Use your imagination. <laughs> Temi, yeah, aged Temi, characteristics Temi. Stigmatism. Domineering glasses seller. Some of the names are just so funny, but I love them. Like magic. The amalgamates living with their families. We did see a couple of those when we were running backwards. Asgore. Monster Kid. I like Monster Kid too. This is my friend Temi. Yes. Toriel. Ah, uh, Toriel and Asgore just get to be a mom and dad now. The end. That's a big the end. Oh no. Now I must dodge things. Ha 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 ha. Did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Oh no. Yeah, I'm gonna like immediately get hit. I already got hit. Oh my gosh, there's so many special things. Oh man. Wait, how would you, you'd have to like basically go in one direction like this and then go up and then down and then up. I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, right. <laughs> You don't even get to read anyone's name here. Ah, the wheels of death. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how I would dodge these ones. Well, apparently you can like touch a small portion of them. I'm curious how many I actually touch at the end. Does it tell me? Oh, I know how bad I did. 
Oh god, that was horrible. <laughs> Yeah, I am bamboozled by the difficulty of this unlosable boss fight. Oh, it tells me how many I touched. Okay. Thanks to friends and family for supporting us and Undertale team thanks, thanks you for the player for the bottom of our hearts. Without you, all of this would be impossible. I mean... I really didn't support the game when I played it like years later, but it's still a great game. <laughs> Ooh, we get another pie in our sleep. Oh man, I'm hungry. I need to go eat something after this. That's cute. That's it. That's the real end. Man, I'm glad we did the pacifist run. Or at least like I'm glad we got to like a really good ending because that was that was really really nice. Good way to end the day, you know? I know when I do the genocide route, it's gonna just feel like bad <laughs> doing the whole thing. But uh that was great. Man, it's like you really feel close to all of the characters that you talk with, too. And the music's amazing in this game. <gasps> Doggo! I'm gonna have to get ready to, to log out, though. <laughs> I do have to work tomorrow, unfortunately. And I'm streaming about 40 minutes longer than normal. But we had to finish it. That was the goal, right? And that's what we did. We got to the end. I don't even know if, like, there's anything else going to happen. I can't actually skip this. Yes, victory! We did it! Hole was always the tree. <laughs> we did we did go see the tree. That is true. I was curious when that tree was gonna show up too. I don't even know, like, do I just close the game now? Like, is there nothing else I can do? I like how if I make the game smaller on my screen, it actually gets wider on my stream. That's full screen for me, and that's tiny. All right, I'm assuming that it just wants me to close the game now, but I'm not sure. I can leave it open for now, but... Oh, the dog does fall asleep. I mean, I can let it sit while we, while we kind of close things up for the day, and... I'm glad everybody that has stopped by was able to enjoy the content as well. I know we had a couple people stop in at the beginning, in the middle was kind of like dead for a little bit, but if you want to go back and watch any of the uh, the other parts, like I think the the uh, True Lab, we did that whole section. Um, that was really cool, getting all that lore. But I'm just happy we were able to beat the whole game. Anyways, I don't, I don't think I'm going to just sit here and wait to see if anything else happens. I'm just going to leave it here, but... Thank you again, everybody, for stopping by, enjoying the stream. Thank you all for just chatting with me in the in the chat here. I enjoy like talking with everybody. I hope everyone has a good week. And if you want to see the genocide route, join me next week. We'll be starting the genocide route and seeing how far we get. So bye, everybody. Have a good night.